Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. I'm about to show y'all the best point guard build, the best build in the game, pretty much. Now, I'm not going to show y'all the two-way slash and playmaker that everybody has. I'm going to show y'all a little, something a little different. This is the build that I've been rocking lately, and it, it gives you the most badges in the game. This one gives you 64 badges. The two-way slash and playmaker only gives you 61. So this one gives you an extra gold badge, which I think is a pretty good advantage over that other one. And I'm gonna explain the pros and cons and what's the differences and what makes this build so good. But let's get right into it. I'm gonna make him a point guard, right-handed, whatever, number 24. Don't need to worry about that. So the pie chart that I'm gonna pick is not, um, I'm not gonna use the play lock. I'm gonna use finishing and playmaking right here finishing and playmaking and with the physical profile you can use either the speed or the speed and vertical i personally went with speed and vertical just so i can have a high vert i could be able to grab more rebounds contest more shots and maybe dunk the ball more who knows but you can go for speed if you want 99 speed with this uh with the speed and vertical you get a 97 speed at 99 which i think is perfectly fine by me so let's get right into this right now so you're gonna want to max out your shot close, right? You wanna get that to a 90. You're gonna want your driving layup all the way up. You want everything to be maxed out in finishing. Well, not everything, but the important stuff. The standing dunk, I just gave a 33. Leave the post hook alone. You don't need a high post hook rating. You just need a high close shot rating and you'll be able to hit post shots. I'll talk about that later. But with the shooting, you're gonna wanna max everything out. You wanna be able to shoot. So this one, you get a 64 three point shot, but I'm gonna change the wingspan to give it a little higher. Because you you'll be able to shoot with this player for sure if you're wide open. I mean, even if you're contested. But here, I maxed out the shooting just so I could get 13 shooting badges as opposed to the two-way slash and playmaker, you get 10 shooting badges. So that's that's one of the big differences. Passing accuracy, you're going to want these to go up. You want your ball handle all the way up. I'm going to leave post moves alone. You still get 22 playmaking badges. Defense, you leave this interior alone. Perimeter defense, you want to go up to a 74. You want to max out your lateral quickness and you're going to want to max out your steel and then you put the rest of your points into defensive rebounding so this is what it looks like right here you can just pause the screen real quick if you want to copy this down but you end up with 20 finishing badges 13 shooting badges 22 playmaking and nine defensive and rebounding badges which i think is perfectly fine you could put uh gold clamps gold intimidator um you could put a uh, gold intimidator or gold pick dodger whatever you want to run with so three gold defensive badges i think that's perfectly fine to be able to guard the ball um you don't get hall of fame defense obviously but i think that's perfectly fine you get 20 finishing 22 playmaking and 13 shooting man so but the body type you can it's personal preferences i just went with built it's whatever so the height you can mess around with it but the one that i went with was six five you don't really you're, you're tall enough you could play good defense and you don't really lose too much on the shooting you see it's a minus one mid-range the three point doesn't get touched at all so leave it at that with the weight i went with 180 so i could get a high acceleration but you could probably move them up higher to like 195 or something like that just to be able to dunk more. I feel like if you're lower weight, you don't dunk as much. But I think the acceleration up to a 91 is really worth it at 180. But if I were to remake it, I would have probably made it a little higher. The wingspan, you're going to go one tick over to the to the right off of minimum. So one off 77 is minimum. I made him uh, 78. So now you can see I have a 66 three-point shot and a 76 mid-range. So add the plus four for the 99 overall and you have a 73 point shot and that's that's all you need you really just need a 70. take over you can choose whatever personal preferences again the reason i chose playmaker personally is because once you have playmaking playmaking badge they're not going to be able to double team you they're going to have to stick to their man because once you hit somebody with the playmaking badge they're going to hit their shot and you can again break your ank break ankles and make highlight plays and whatnot so here it is, Slash and Playmaker. I feel like this is the best build, and I'm gonna show y'all some gameplay to show you what this build can do. All right, so let me show y'all some gameplay that I recorded about a week ago when there was like that 1v1 event with the rush. I'm just, you know, I'm just playing around, shooting over people, dunking over people. Let me just show y'all how good this player is. Like it's unstoppable in a 1v1 situation, in an ISO situation. You're not gonna be able to guard him because if you play too tight, you're just gonna get blown by and dunked on. If you play too low, I'm just gonna be able to shoot with the shoot with the 73 pointer and 73 pointer you can shoot from anywhere on the floor if you know your release uh if you're wondering what release i have like look right here boom that's dante exum like straight up i don't have any jump shot creator or nothing so i just put dante exum i think that's the best 
gold shooting uh gold quick draw shooter shooting jump shot one of the best there's obviously other ones that are better but i just went with Dante exum for this video but look at this i'm playing against centers i'm playing against guards i'm able to lock down with my nine well here i have 19 because i'm a legend but if i had nine defensive badges again you can put like clamps intimidator and then that third one you can put whatever you want you can put pick pocket you can put interceptor you can put pick dodger depending on the situation but really this build is just op you get the most badges in the game you get 64 no other build is going to get as many badges as this player like the two-way slash and playmaker i believe they get either 60 or 61 badges and so and this one gets three more extra because that shooting you get a 13 shooting badges with 13 you can put quick draw gold you can put range extender you can put hot zone hunter you could throw in a green machine on bronze like there's just so many possibilities that you can uh make with this build and look at the playmaking takeover like it just it's just so op playmaking takeover it's not showcased in this video really because playmaking takeover is mostly for the extra boost in your passes so when you have that takeover nobody can help you in the iso because if they help off you're just gonna pass it right to the teammate and they're gonna green a three immediately like it doesn't matter what type of build they are but yeah and you can obviously get ankle breakers with this so for some highlights but again playmaking takeover is just personal preference but again this is like nothing special it's just me dribbling around dunking on people shooting if i'm wide open like this build this build really takes no skill so i do recommend like if you're a new player this is a good build to start off with because you could just run into the rim and dunk the ball yeah look at this limitless three but yeah i'm gonna end this video right here i'm just gonna keep it short this is the best build in my opinion and i'll catch y'all later